And this police affidavit alleges 28-year-old Stephen Cugini, a now suspended York City police officer, raped and sexually assaulted its girlfriend's one-year-old baby girl over the past several days. Cugini is locked up in the Dolphin County Prison on $200,000 bail. Court documents allege Stephen Cugini committed the crimes in Elizabethville, Dauphin County, and Springettsbury Township, York County, during the past several days. The abuse caused significant injuries to the baby. A Pennsylvania State Police affidavit shows a daycare worker at the YMCA in Halifax noticed serious injuries to the 13-month-old baby girl after she was dropped off Monday morning. The worker called police. The court records show a trooper found bruises all over the baby, including the face, head, and vaginal area. She was taken to Penn State Hershey Medical Center, where a doctor found the baby's leg was broken and she was the victim of sexual violence. The baby's mother initially told police the bruising happened during a fall in the bathtub at their Elizabethville home and later due to an accident with a family dog. Police say Cugini made similar statements, but investigators revealed text messages retrieved from the mother's phone show Cugini acknowledging responsibility for the baby's bruises. The affidavit states Cugini told police on Tuesday the injuries occurred while he was caring for the child alone. York's police commissioner Michael Muldrow sent a statement to News 8 reading in part, if the allegations are founded, trust and believe I'll be the first to take swift and definitive action against them. And no one answered at the Elizabethville home when we went there and knocked on the door. The daycare did not wish to comment about the case. Live in Dolphin County, Barbara Barr, News 8. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.